Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I will be showing you how to install Apache 2.4 and PHP 5.4 on a Windows 8 PC. To get started we'll go ahead and launch our web browser. And since right now Apache does not have 2.4 on their website for Windows, we're going to go ahead and go to apachelounge.com forward slash download. And what we're going to do, click additional. And the reason being is we're going to go ahead and grab the VC9 because uh, my PHP FFmpeg that I have a tutorial on and is highly requested is VC9 compiled. So we're going to go ahead and use VC9. Also notice here that the binaries are, if you're going to be using the SSL feature, which is security ticket uh, or certificate, if you're going to be using that, you will want to use a build with 9.8 so we're going to go ahead and grab that just to be safe it's this download right here and while that's downloading we will go ahead and go over to PHP and download PHP 5.4 and we're going ahead I'm going to go ahead and get the thread safe one all right it looks like this one's just about done we'll go ahead and click show in folder okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extract this you can use extract all I'm gonna use 7-zip and just uh, click extract here alright and we can go ahead and extract our PHP we'll do uh, go ahead and extract it to that subdirectory Alright, so now we've got everything undone. Now, now we have an Apache 2.4 folder. So what we're going to do, we're going to take and cut that. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over to my C drive and then right click and then press paste. Alright. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to back to my downloads folder. I'm going to open up my PHP 5.4. Make sure this is the base directory so I'll go ahead I'm going to rename this to just PHP and then I'm going to cut this directory and then I'll go back over to C drive and then we'll click paste so now we have our Apache 2.4 folder and our PHP folder in the same uh, location on drive C and I'm going to open up my Apache folder and I need to go in here to the config folder and open up my uh, HTTP config file alright and you can use notepad I'm gonna personally I'm gonna use uh, gedit it's one uh, it's one that I prefer for editing text documents alright now that has opened up we need to go down here to make sure and verify this this is correct our server root and port 80 so that's good as well main thing we need to do is uh, add down here on load module I'll just go to the bottom of the load modules and then we're going to go to load module PHP 5 module and then we're on in quotations do C PHP extension and PHP 5 I'm not completely sure let me double check that path just to show you where we're trying to get to okay so yeah the Apache modules right here we don't want to tell you what we can do we can just click on this till it uh, changes to edit and we'll just click copy and so now I'll go back to my configuration file and it's not in the extension so we'll just go ahead and do this and then paste it 
dot dll. Oh, whoops, that's a two, two point two. That's the 2.2 .2 module. That's not the one we want. We want the uh, 2.4. There it is. Okay, so I just grabbed the wrong one. Let's go back here and make that change real quick. No biggie. All right. Then we want to uh, type another line. Add handler application x dash httpd dash php and dot php and that just basically says that php needs to handle any files there that end in uh, end in that all right and i think that's pretty much it except for a default document i've got to figure out where that's at oh no here it is right here the directory index i prefer uh, index.php to o override html so basically what this is do if there's a, in a directory whichever file comes first so if index.php is in there it'll ignore index.html by default all right now after setting that we're going to go ahead and go down to uh, to the very bottom of our file and then we're going to go ahead and type in uh, specify the php ini directory and this should be c colon forward slash php alright and then we're good to go we can go ahead and save our uh, save our file and close this in out now okay the next thing we need to do we'll go ahead and launch our command prompt we'll go over to the uh, type in cmd alright then I'm going to go cd period period backslash period period backslash and then I can go ahead and type Apache and if you press the tab key it'll uh, spell the rest of it out for you and backslash uh, htt I mean uh, bin alright and that puts me in the bin folder now if you want to install this as a service here's how you do it and what it means for it to install it by services it'll automatically start Apache whenever you start Windows you don't want to do that you can skip this part but uh, what we're going to do is type httpd dash k and then install okay it says uh, okay it says we're we don't have uh, permission to do that so we'll close the command prompt and I will go back to the uh, oh, crud stinking browser go back here and type cmd again this time I'll right click on this and run as administrator all right now CD period period backslash period periods Apache and then bin all right now type type httpd dash k install all right and this has popped me up uh, Windows Security. We'll go ahead and check both of these and click Allow Access. All right. All right, and so this error is no big deal. Um, now we're good to go. We've got that installed. The next thing we can do is uh, go ahead and close this out. Okay, now we need to go ahead and uh, set up to edit our php.ini. They give you uh, two presets, one's for production, one's for development. We're going to go ahead and use the development one uh, since we're not going to be using this as a production computer. If you are, you might want to go ahead and use the production one. So uh, go ahead and remove that extension. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this in my text editor. which uh, well shoot I would just go ahead and open it in notepad that'll be fine and then I'm gonna go down here and I need to find uh, I'm gonna press control F to bring up the search and I'm gonna find the extension directory now close find alright then I need to uncomment this 
I'm just take and remove the semicolon in front of it. And the next thing I want to do, I want to look at extensions and find uh, find my MySQL because you're probably going to want the MySQL extension. And yes, it's commented out. So we'll go ahead and uncomment this. Same with that one right there. MySQL, MySQLi. Um, any other ones that you want to use, you probably want to uh, un I mean, curl is a real common one, so you'll probably want to unmark that one. File info, uh, wow, why did they got them all commented out? Uh, GD2 is your uh, image library. File info. Uh, if you get too crazy with uncommenting this, you could actually have uh, trouble starting. Some of the extensions can sometimes cause it to, to hang. Uh, PDO is one that I use a lot. Um, for MySQL, I use it for SQLite as well. Oh, whoops. Undo that. Well, let me see. Uh, so that's a couple of them. Um, SQLite 3. I don't use that. Um, yeah, so if there's any of these other ones, uh, Zip is a real common one. You'll probably need Zip. Back click that and date time zone. I know this is going to demand that you set this, so uh, you'll need to find your date and time zones. Which the best way to do would be go to this. We'll go to uh, open your browser and we'll just take and click that and paste that URL in and go there. All right, and then I think it's here's a list of supported time zones. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then depending on where you are, I'm in America, so uh, you'll want to click your corresponding one. And then I know I fall in the, uh, let me see, America, America, Chicago was the time zone that I followed in. So I'm just going to copy that. Then we'll go back to uh, back over to our configuration file, and then we'll uncomment this. And go ahead and click paste. Let's see, I think that is it in a nutshell. So we'll go ahead and click file and save this. Hopefully, that's all we have to do on PHP for now. Now the next thing we'll do, we need to uh, go ahead and start Apache. Um, best way to do that I know of is to go to the bin folder. And you might make a shortcut um, on your desktop. You can right click, pin to start, or pin to taskbar, or even send to uh, desktop as a shortcut, which is what I'm going to do. And then we'll go ahead and launch this. And then you'll see a little icon appear at the bottom. So we'll click on that and then we'll go ahead and click start and try to start it. Okay, and we can see it's running. So we'll open our browser up. We'll type in uh, localhost. Press enter. All right, and we should see it works. Um, that means that it's working. Uh, next thing we need to do, make sure that PHP is loaded correctly. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back to our Apache folder. And then we're going to open up our htdocs. And you should see index.html. What we're going to do, we're going to create a new file. Create a new text document. And then we'll create uh, one that goes index.php. And it'll warn me about changing extensions. By the way, if you don't have a, if you can't see the extensions, what you can do is click View, go over here, and you'll see File Name Extensions. Make sure that's checked. I did that in a uh, previous tutorial, but um, you will want to make sure it's index.php and it doesn't have .text on the end, or else it won't work. We'll go ahead and open this in your text editor. I'm using uh, gedit for mine. Right. 
bring this right down here and then uh, I'll, this is very simple just uh, type PHP and then uh, PHP info and colon and then closing and then we'll go ahead and save this and then we're going to open our browser again and then we should click refresh all right and now we see it came up so great it's working great it's got the PHP version um, we can see all our extensions that are loaded these are all the ones that did load they loaded correctly um, the MySQL let's see our PDO libraries loaded zip was one of them we enabled alright so so as well we got that set up and that officially ends our tutorial on how to install Apache 2.4 on Windows 8 along with uh, PHP 5.4 thank you for watching